first of all, transfer windows open, of course. Uh, a lot of speculation, a lot of rumour, a lot of talk about who might be coming in and going. Can I just ask you first of all about Giorgio Chiellini? Um, talk of you being interested, also talk of him signing a new deal at Juventus. Would it be a blow for you if he was to go ahead and sign a new deal? Yeah, and uh, you said, well, a lot of speculation, a lot of speculation. But it's normal uh, when uh, uh, when the transfer window starts. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult moment for uh, for every coach, for uh, for every club, because you have to face with uh, with many speculations, and uh, for sure, uh, some speculations. Uh, yeah, there is a uh, could, yeah, there is the, the, the true no, and uh, in the other. Uh, uh, yeah, only, only, only speculations. Uh, for us, uh, I think that the, in this period uh, we must be very, very, very focused on uh, on, on our target. And, uh, and tomorrow we have uh, a little tough game against uh, against Arsenal, uh, and we need to uh, to find the right concentration for the transfer market. I think uh, there is the club and uh, to. Uh, yeah, to try to do uh, uh, the best for uh, for the team. You said some of the speculation is true, some of not. Is is the talk of Chiellini true in this sense? Is he a player you're interested in and, and hopeful of perhaps getting? No, no. I must be honest. And uh, Giorgio is a uh, is a uh, is a fantastic player and uh, is a really good player. But I think that he want to finish his career in. Uh, in, uh, in Juventus, uh, and I think that uh, it's right uh, uh, to to finish his career in uh, in uh, in this way. Do you expect to bring players, and if not Chiellini, but are you expecting that by the time this window closes, you'll have added to your squad? But uh, honestly, uh, my expectations, uh, my, my expectations, uh, uh, can be. Uh, a lot or, or, or not, but uh, the most important thing, I repeat, uh, is my opinion, is my opinion. Uh, I try to, to, to give my opinion uh, to, to the club uh, and, then, and, and then the club has to take the best decision for, for, uh, for, for the team. But I repeat, uh, I can give my, my opinion. Uh, I only uh, a coach. Uh, my uh, my main uh, task is uh, to work on the pitch with uh, with my players, to improve my players, to improve my team. And then, if the club uh, decided to ask me uh, something about uh, about my team, uh, I'll try to uh, to give my my opinion. Given your opinion, have you had encouragement that uh, your opinion will be respected, and if you've asked the players, that the club will do everything it can to get those players? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I don't know. But uh, uh, for every uh, for every coach, uh, uh, it's uh, it's the same uh, the same situation. The same situation. I repeat. But and uh, I'm I'm used to work on the pitch. I'm used to. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm used to, to give my opinion if the club asks my opinion about the position that we can uh, we can strengthen. Strengthen. Uh, yeah, but then uh, then the club has, uh, has to decide for uh, which is the uh, the best for uh, for the team for uh, for the club. Can I ask about um, David Luiz? First of all, um, his injury and whether he's ready to return. And secondly, um, I know Arsene Wenger was asked this morning about whether. Arsenal had an interest in him. Um, do you expect him to be staying put and, and haven't had any offers in for him yet? Uh, yeah, I think uh, first, first of all, uh, and uh, David uh, uh, improved a lot. Uh, improved a lot. Uh, his uh, physical condition now in this. Uh, uh, in the last couple of the days, uh, uh, he worked with uh, with us. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, he could be in contention for uh, Norwich's game. Yeah, and then for for the rest of the the question, uh, I, I repeat, and uh, I'm very happy to to work with uh, with uh, these players. Uh, I trust in these uh, in these players, uh, and uh, uh, I don't see I don't see problem. 
but at the same time I understand if uh, 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 some players uh, are not playing with the regularity and they want to play with the regularity I, I can understand I can understand but I repeat I'm very happy to, to work with these players is there a suggestion there that David not happy and perhaps could go during this window? No, there's no suggestion in that at all. No, that's not what he's saying. That's not I'm what he's saying. Trying to, trying to clarify. <coughs> yeah, no, I know where you're going with that, but that's not, that's not what he's saying. So you expect David to, to be here at the end of the window, when the window closes? But uh, my 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 expectation, uh, all the players, all the players that uh, we, we we have in the squad, uh, and uh, to uh, to stay uh, to stay here and uh, to try to uh, to continue to work. Uh, also, because I repeat, our our squad is not big, and uh, for this reason, uh, I think that uh, uh, it's impossible to send uh, on loan uh, uh, one player uh, or to sell one player if uh, we don't take uh, another player. Um, you mentioned before your main target at the moment is, is Arsenal. This Arsenal match is the first of three matches you've got against them in the next few weeks, including the cup games. Is is this uh, the most important of the three? This league fixture. No, I think when when you play against Arsenal, uh, every every game is uh, is very important and. Uh, and now uh, tomorrow tomorrow's game uh, is very important for uh, for the league and uh, for sure we want to try to uh, to do our best we want to try to to get three points and uh, also to give uh, uh, satisfaction to to our fans but i think that uh, in, in the same way arsenal uh, wants to do the same we've seen a lot of teams over the last few few games make a lot of changes sort of five and six changes for each match you had a good result in your last one. Are you, you happy to keep the same team or do, does your team need freshening up? Do you need to make changes to, to keep players fresh? But uh, about Arsenal, but uh, my, my team. Your team. Uh, my team. Rotation. Yeah, uh, yeah but uh, uh, for, for us, uh, it's, uh, it's very important to, um, in my project, uh, in, my, in my plan, uh, it's very important to involve uh, all my players, uh, all my players. and. Uh, uh, I think that uh, we are doing uh, uh, a really good job in this uh, in this situation because uh, uh, we are making uh, many rotations, but at the same time uh, uh, our results are are positive. It means that uh, all my players are uh, are working very well. Yeah, my my target my target uh, is uh, to to have uh, all my players at the peak of the form, especially that. Uh, 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 yeah, we, now now there is the second part of the season. The second part of the season uh, is the part uh, very important because uh, or you are able to reach your target or you are not able to reach your target. And for this reason, I think to have. Uh, all the players at the peak of the form will be very important for, for me and for the players. West Brom have complained about their fixture pile-up over the Christmas period and Pep Guardiola said it's been a disaster for his players. Are you happy with the way the fixture has fallen <coughs> for Chelsea over, over the Christmas and New Year period? No, but, but uh, if you remember very well, uh, and uh, in this season, uh, and uh, I, I, don't like, I don't like to complain, I don't like to complain, but and uh, if you remember, uh, for four times, and I complained about uh, the fixtures and before the game against City, before the game against Liverpool, and uh, against Watford, and then I don't remember uh, the, the other teams. But I think that uh, uh, we can do better. We, and uh, I speak uh, about uh, uh, all the movement, and I think that uh, it's important don't close don't close uh, the eyes because uh, this is a problem. This is a problem, and I think when there is a problem, you have to face the problem. You have to try to solve the problem with honest, with the honesty, and uh, and I repeat to to give the same chances for all the clubs, not only for Chelsea or for Arsenal or for Manchester City, for all, all the teams. I think that uh, uh, someone has to, to start to think, to think and not to close uh, uh, his eyes and uh, to continue this way, because I think this way is not right. What is the answer to the problem then? 
and he said it, it is a problem uh, at the moment. Have you got in your mind an idea of, of what the answer to the problem is? But the problem is always the same. Eh? That uh, I think that uh, every coach uh, is complained uh, about uh, the officials that uh, there is not the, the right rest uh, for the players. That the players uh, uh, risk a lot uh, to have a lot of injury in this uh, in this way. And uh, I think that we have to try to protect the players. We have to try to pro to protect this uh, uh, this uh, product. And uh, and not to push, 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 because if you continue to push and then arrive at one point that uh, it will be very difficult to stop. I think that we must be um, uh, very uh, very positive and to try together to find the right uh, the right solution. Thank you, Martin. Hi, Antonio. Apart from David Luiz, who was injured before the holiday period, how many of your players are injured? No, but uh, uh, Musonda, Musonda is, uh, uh, yeah, I think is uh, is the same, uh, uh, the same condition of David, and he's ready. He, he could be in contention for uh, Norwich's game. Yeah, and uh, other players now, and uh, all my players are uh, available. So the fixture congestion hasn't been a problem for. Chelsea. All your players are fit for selection. Yeah, but uh, don't forget that uh, we had a lot of problems before, and especially uh, when when this season uh, started, and uh, we had a lot of of, of problems, and uh, not many problems because uh, uh, I'm speaking about uh, three, two, three injuries now in the same time. But for us, for our squad, when you have uh, two, three uh, injuries in the same time, we are in big trouble. And uh, But um, now I'm very happy because uh, all my players uh, are uh, available. In January last year, you called Nathan Ake back from Bournemouth. I, is there anybody who's out on loan now, a Chelsea player who you can think about bringing back in January? But uh, as I said before, and uh, our squad is not big. And uh, I like to uh, to work with all my players. And uh, uh, before to send a loan, uh, one player. Is anyone can, can anyone come back to make your squad bigger, like Ake did in January last year? But but uh, Ake, we sold Ake. But you sold him in the summer. Yeah, in the summer. Uh, yeah. He, but he came back. Ah, to come back in this, in this, in this, in this uh, January. Is there anybody like that now that you could bring back? I don't think, I don't think uh, uh, this could could be realistic. Also, because uh, uh, the players that we send on loan, they are playing, and uh, I don't see, uh, I don't see a, a possibility uh, to come back for for some players on loan. Then, uh, if the club, I repeat, decides. To, uh, to take it this way, yeah. I remember last January and uh, Ake and Kennedy, Kennedy and Musonda, no, came back in January to improve our squad, no, to uh, to uh, yeah, to improve our squad, yeah. But in in, in this transfer, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Liam. Antonio, we've heard Pep Guardiola talking about um, wanting more protection for his players after a big challenge on Kevin De Bruyne against Crystal Palace. Um, Eden Hazard, for example, is always one of the most fouled players in the Premier League. Um, what do you think about the level of contact that is allowed in England by referees? I think just before we need to be careful here because we're not allowed to talk about referees before a game. Okay. No, and, 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 generally, the level of contact in English football. Okay. Good. I just want to make sure yeah, that right. and Antonio knows too that we have to be careful. Yeah, no, I think I think that uh, as you know very well, uh, this league uh, is very uh, is very strong, no, under physical aspect, and uh, you can see a lot of uh, of contact with the, with the players. But I think that uh, at the same time, uh, this type of football. Uh, 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 is uh, exciting, no? Because uh, 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 yeah, to, to, to see uh, on every ball to fight uh, uh, between two <coughs> players, uh, and uh, I think is uh, is uh, is good. 
but at the same time i think that uh, the referee must be uh, must pay great attention if uh, um, there is uh, uh, the intention a bad intention in the tackle and in this case in this case i think that you have to punish the player with the red card and with many many uh, games uh, um, to ban no but, yeah. yeah yeah but i repeat as you know very well this uh, this league uh, is very uh, is very strong no and uh, uh, yeah i think uh, on this aspect uh, the referee must be uh, must pay great attention to understand if the contact is a bad contact if there is the will to uh, to uh, to give a, a kick a bad kick or to try to uh, yeah to, to to break the leg you understand yeah and in this case uh, uh, I I pretend uh, um, uh, great uh, severity mm -hmm. and uh, great uh, a great punishment mm -hmm. for uh, for mm -hmm. for this player. I think I think that uh, uh, this must be uh, very clear. Okay, we need to wrap up this session, as well. Antonio Diego Costa has been officially unveiled by Atletico Madrid. Um, are you going to ask to reinvest the funds from the club? to bring back into your squad because yeah, the club got a lot of money for Diego. <laughs> but uh, as I said before, uh, first, of, first of all, I'm, I'm <coughs> uh, I'm very happy, very happy for for, for him, and uh, I repeat, and uh, uh, I will be uh, always grateful uh, uh, this player because uh, he helped us uh, to win the title, the title last season and to reach the final FA Cup last uh, last season. But uh, uh, as uh, always said, uh, and uh, um, we have to look at the present and not at the past because uh, for us. Uh, uh, it will be very important to be focused on the present and uh, to uh, to look uh, at the future also. Uh, would you like to see the money that we got for Diego invested back in players for your school? Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I transfer this, uh, transfer yes, but uh, I repeat this. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, and uh, this is not my decision. This is a club's decision, and uh, this is not my my decision. I repeat, and uh, uh, the, the the club has to uh, to take the be the best decision and to try to uh, to do uh, the best uh, for for uh, for the team and uh, for the club. And I'm ready. I'm ready to face uh, every situation because I repeat, I'm I'm, I'm a coach, and uh, I have to work very hard with my players uh, on the pitch. Okay, guys, let's uh, turn.